Good morning, I'm Ashley Wheeler from Two Works For You and here are today's top stories. Police are searching for a suspect following a home invasion that sent one man to the hospital. Tulsa police say around 6 p.m. yesterday afternoon, a suspect entered a home on Zyler Street, attacking one victim and forcing them out of the home. The second victim was hit on the head with a pistol, causing it to go off, shooting the victim in the head. The victim was transported to the hospital. No further details are available at this time. And deputies are investigating mail theft in multiple counties in northeast Oklahoma. Tulsa business owner Kay Fiddler tells us after 10 years of using her P.O. box, she never expected it to happen. She was shocked to see her lock changed and a letter of apology from the mail company explaining her mail had been stolen. Fiddler says she's had to make a few changes, including switching over to direct deposit to avoid something like this happening again. Rogers County Sheriff's Office encourages people to be more careful and avoid placing checks in the mail. And supporters for gun control in the state are collecting signatures this weekend for state question 803 in an attempt to get rid of permitless gun carry in Oklahoma. The new law is scheduled to go into effect November 1st. Community leaders in favor of the state question held a news conference yesterday asking neighbors to join. The House bill passed earlier this year by the Oklahoma legislature. Residents will be able to openly carry firearms without a background check. Now let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. We'll be tracking showers and storms throughout your lunchtime today in Tulsa. Rain chances are going to spike around 10 a.m. lasting throughout the afternoon. Those chances seem to taper off as we go throughout later this afternoon, clearing up as we go into this evening. Temperatures only going to be rising into those lower 80s this afternoon, uh, continuing to stay in those lower 80s throughout the evening and into your 9 o'clock hour where temperatures are going to uh, settle back down to the upper 70s. If you have any plans for tomorrow, going to be hot and humid. The sun's back out and we're rising to around 93 degrees. Ashley. All right, thank you so much. And that was our digital update. Keep checking for updates throughout the day. I'm Ashley Wheeler, two works for you.